the machinists in the house? Yeah! Is organized labor in the house? Yeah! And I can tell you that this executive council is going to be here every day, every night, for as long as it takes to get a contract. The company's not negotiating at all. It's all stall tactics. It's it's just as frustrating as it ever was for me. We go into negotiating for a four-hour session. They talk to us for 10 minutes, and that's it. And 95% of the time, they sit in a caucus for the entire time. We don't even meet. We don't even negotiate. We don't even talk. I can't believe this is legal. Under the, under the most basic premise of you, you, you're, you're, under, you're required by law to negotiate now. We have a union, and they just don't. Over the past 10 years or so, the the management just the management just fell apart in that place. When it comes to the way managers and supervisors have been treating employees, it's just gone downhill since since I've started. They're really concerned how the city looks at them. It's impossible to have um, any sense of security if we don't even have a conversation. So, uh, to the extent that I have the ability um, to express the opinions of the city of Niagara Falls regard to this employer, I am to know that I think that this is outrageous and that I think it's most, um, especially to their benefit, to sit down and have a reasonable conversation um, with this union. I think it's all of us. We are a community. And when one union is being denied its basic right to negotiate, we are all being denied a seat at that table. We've been going through this for our entire history. My name is Jerry and we want a contract.